study through song. A choral drill is a daily ritual for thousands of Rohingya refugee students. Shaika is nine. This is her first classroom ever. Twenty-nine of the forty students here, aged six to eleven, never went to school in Myanmar. In exile in Bangladesh, they now have a chance. More than 250 learning spaces supported by UNHCR have been set up in the refugee settlements. Roxana teaches English. But the challenge is to turn simple lessons into a lasting education. Primary students get only two hours of informal schooling per day without a certified curriculum or distinct grade levels. And even with three shifts a day, there are still too few spots, especially for older children. Shaika's older brother and sisters, aged 12 to 15, are among those left behind. Education is more than formal lessons. It is an opportunity for healing and play. Do you like school? It is an investment in the future and a way to impact the fate of the nearly one million Rohingyas in exile. In education, what we have seen is really ad hoc schools that teach kids a, you know, a little bit of this and that without a proper curriculum. That's not proper education. So if we don't, if we don't structure that properly uh, in a manner that is standardized and offers proper curriculum to all children, primary and secondary, you really lose, risk losing big time on, on, on a generation of children. Rohingya families know the value of education. They gave their learning center its name. Bororalo means sunrise. And like a new dawn, it holds the promise of all the future can be.